I, I was filled in ash for most of the shoot every day. You were day. covered in ash, to, sorry. Covered in ash, so I was like, I had to go home and have a shower for two hours every day. So it wasn't fun. Yeah, she does go through quite a lot in that story. Sorry. sorry no, 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 it was fun. I mean, now kind it's of. over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Veera Saxena for Vice India and I'm here in Mumbai today to talk to actors Radhika Apte and director Patrick Graham about their new Netflix show, Ghoul. Ghoul is Netflix's first Indian horror thriller series. It is set in a dystopian world where interrogator Nida Rahim is trying to get a confession from an infamous terrorist. In a post-sectarian India where rights of religious minorities have been curtailed by a fascist government, the setting of the series itself becomes a character. Patrick Graham is a British screenwriter and director and has been working in India for almost a decade. He conceptualized and shot Ghoul as a feature film before Netflix came on board and converted it to a three-part series. Backed by production houses like Ivanhoe, Phantom and Blumhouse that are known for their horror repertoire, it's already got a buzz around it. So Patrick, hmm. um, Ghoul was originally written as a feature film. Mm -hmm. So how come it turned into a three-part series and what was that process like? Okay, well, uh, I think that everybody involved with the project and everybody who knew the story uh, really welcomed the chance to actually add material to it. And, and uh, there, are, there are aspects to the main character's backstory that we really wanted to explore. So with Netflix, we got that, that chance to really explore the character further, kind of bring in some more emotional resonance, kind of really see the backstory that informs the rest of the, uh, the, the story so much. And the setting itself of the show is quite political. Do you feel like the digital platform allows you to be a little more indulgent? I'm not sure about that because the the main kind of agenda, if there is one for the for the project, is to create entertainment. It's to entertain people. It's to give them a suspenseful story to keep them on the edge of their seats and to really kind of explore genre filmmaking uh, in in India. We we set our story within the context of this dystopia, and of course, a dystopia needs to have certain tropes to it, which are there. But it could be. You know, it's a fairly generic depiction of a future dystopia. So I don't think we, we had a, a political agenda as such. Okay. Radhika, you seem to be... You've done like a lot of horror stuff in, in the past few years, like with Ahalya, Ghoul, Phobia. Is there something that specifically attracts you to the horror genre as well? Well, uh, the thing is, I am... Um um, I get scared quite easily, so I don't watch much horror. But uh, I find it very uh, exciting. Like when I when I live alone in the house, I avoid watching it. Huh. But if I know that the next month I'm not going to be alone, I want to watch all horror, all horror <laughs> stuff. You know what I mean? Because I actually love it. But uh, when I choose films, it's not necessarily because of the genre. It's about the story. Highest <laughs> score. Consistently top of our way. But तुम्हारे अब्बू को पकड़वाने में जो तुमने हमारी मदद की है, वो सारे civilians और officers के लिए brave example है. Thank you, sir. How is it different when you're acting in like a drama and in a horror film? No, it's drama only, ना at the end of the day. Like I the, personally feel it's drama only, no? I mean, you like create, react. create, create a conflict in some situation. Drama only. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. But it's a drama where you have to like look scared more often. Yeah, yeah, well, some, some, but, but, in, I mean, come on, yeah. Mm. In, in another drama, also, probably you have to look. Okay, in some, some drama film, okay, I'm pregnant suddenly, I have to look scared. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say like, is that no. fear is just like, <laughs> fear, fear can be like anything. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Ch being chased by a monster doesn't happen very often. No, I it? agree, exactly, no, exactly. But that's where your imagination <laughs> yeah, comes, course, comes in. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. you can just imagine something, uh, remember something from your dream. I've been chased yeah. by lots of things <laughs> in my dream, let me tell you that. <laughs> I just have to remember that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, Patrick, hmm. how did you think of going to the horror genre for your first feature? It's a genre that I've always loved and I've always been particularly partial to. <laughs> and I think a lot of uh, first time directors have established a name with, with the horror genre. Um, so I, I always felt that my first project would be horror, even back when I was, you know, seven years old watching mm. films I shouldn't be watching at that age. But as it, uh, when it comes to, within the context of India, I, I feel like 
there have actually been some really nice Indian horror project, uh, films made and uh, stories. Even recently, there's been some really nice horror sure. films. Uh, Parry, I thought was good. Phobia oh. was good. There is a kind of growing um, body of work for Indian horror. I feel like, as I've said before, that there's a, there's a kind of a, a language that India needs to find of its own when it comes to horror. I feel like there is so much scope for the supernatural and mythology and folklore in India and, and often we find the same tropes explored again and again and again where there's so much to be talking about. So I really hope that Ghoul is, as a story, brings something new to the table for, for kind of Indian genre storytelling. What is <laughs> कोई भी फरियादी अपने खून से ये निशान बनाकर अपने रोग का सौदा करके गुरु को बुला सकता है हम वो कैसे हैं तो यू गॉट लाइक दिस ट्राइफेक्ट ऑफ लाइक आईवन हो एंड फैंटम एंड ब्लूम हाउस बैकिंग द मूवी एंड ब्लूम हाउस इटसेल्फ हैज बीन लाइक part of movies like Get Out and Purge and Insidious. So what did they bring to the table with this one? Well, Blumhouse just give you a remarkable, strong foundation for your for your genre story because they are the genre filmmakers. They're so prolific. With, they've got so many amazing titles to their name. So having that backing gives you a tremendous sense of security. And of course, Phantom, who are, you know, at the end of the day, a bunch of film geeks just like me who, who want to make good quality content and, and they just know what they're doing and they're experienced in it. So. With, with all these different parties involved, it really just made the, the process, you know, much stronger. While conceptualizing the horror scenes, mm. how big of a role did like special effects play? I've all, always felt that the VFX really, in, in the language of filmmaking, it's really, you know, it's, it's punctuation. It's, it's there to enhance something. It shouldn't really take center stage. So the, the VFX, the, the way we used our kind of effects, visual effects in, in Ghoul was very much to kind of enhance certain things, but really all the scares were there in camera. You know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, the Ghoul looked scary regardless of whatever embellishments we put on afterwards. And I think we achieved that. So when, uh, when you're running down the corridor, you really do have a giant man running after you yeah. with black eyes. I mean, it's yeah. scary. Actually, shooting for this film was actually one of the toughest uh, jobs I've ever done because we the way we wanted it to look we also had to shoot in those situations and circumstances mm, you know yeah. it was in the basement we were all like you know pretty much there with like that damp yeah so it really the set itself evoked that feeling mm, it, it yeah. really it was I mean it wasn't it wasn't a fun shoot but it was it was certainly no, you know it had an atmosphere to it which it. I think uh, yeah. comes through in the, I, I was filled um, in ash for most of the shoot every you were day covered I in had ash, to, sorry. covered in ash so I was like I had to go home <laughs> and have a shower for 2 hours every day <laughs> So it wasn't fun. Yeah, she does go through quite a lot in that story. Sorry. sorry no, no, no. it was fun. I mean, now kind it's of. over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that's it for this interview. Yeah. Thank you guys for being so Very patient with me. Thank you. And thank you guys for taking out the time to talk to us. Thanks. Thank hope you, you enjoy the show. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Cool.